again, and it's time for another product slash food review video. A lot of people have been going berserk over the brownie batter Oreos, which I got right here. These are Oreos, regular Oreo cookies, but the middle, instead of the regular icing, is some kind of brownie batter type filling. So, a lot of people review these, a lot of people love them, and I'm going to try them myself. So, let's first open the tab. I love these tab things. And here you go. Bunch of cookies. You know, it's a much smaller pack than your regular oil packs because these are specialties. And I wish they'd make them the regular packs like you see the regular oil cookies, but oh well. So let's pull out one of these. Oh yeah, that's thick icing right here. Very thick. I'm gonna twist off the top. And you can see very, you know, very good dose of icing. And I need to skip out on the icing. Let's try a test. Wow, the icing really does taste like brownie butter. <laughs> I don't know how they do that, but wow, the icing is very, very, very good. Right, let's try the cookies. Mm. It's your regular oil cookie, chocolate oil cookie, nothing special about these. Try another one. Mm. Nothing special, Bob. Let's try another one of these. Let's try it the whole this time. Mmm. Mmm. Very interesting. If I just try the icing, I can taste the brownie batter very well. But when I'm trying it as a whole cookie with the icing in the middle, I'm not tasting the brownie batter icing too much. I'm just almost like a chocolate oil cookie. Yeah. Mmm. Nothing special about that. It tastes like a regular oil cookie. I, granted, I still have the taste of brownie batter over my tongue in my mouth right now. Let's get the milk. Let's try these dunking in the milk. About five more seconds. I like to really live in the milk. I want them soft and chewy. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's try this. Mmm. Yeah. It's weird. Having it's just a regular cookie with an icing and a cookie, you don't taste the brownie batter. But after dumping in the milk, I can taste the brownie batter again because maybe the chocolate flavor of the cookie is a little scuttled in the milk. Let's try one more with the milk. I just wanted to confirm this. Like I said, I like my cookies good and soft, so this is the way to do it. Okay. Mm. Yeah. That's good. The best way to experience the brownie batter Oreos as a whole cookie is to dip it in the milk. If you just right, you can just eat a cookie, you know, with all three dicing at the two sides, you're not gonna taste it too much unless you lift the frosting off before you eat the cookies, which I love to do. But it seems like that the best way to experience these is to dip them in the milk. I'm gonna just try this only. Just dip the icing in the milk. Hmm. If you dip just the icing in the milk, you're not going to taste the brownie batter too much. No. I'm trying to just the cookies here. Yeah. The trigger top cookies. Mmm. Drink some of this milk. Alright. The brownie batter Oreos, I think they're pretty good. I think this is probably one of the best oral fl specialty flavors that have come out. And oil is just spearing with flavors now. I think they're going to try every flavor under the rainbow before it's all said and done. So overall, I give these brownie batter Oreos five, 5 out of 5. They are very good. You're going to enjoy these. Get them while they're still around because you don't leave them in time only. They're about to go out of stock. So if you haven't tried them yet, you might want to go grab it back now before they go out of stock. So thank you all for watching my food review video. You'll have a great geeky and dirty day and geek out.